What's going on everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the BAPE and undefeated collaboration with Adidas on the ZX or ZX8000. Before we begin the review, I want to give a huge thank you over to Adidas Canada for sending me over this pair. These released on November 14th for $140 US dollars or $180 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Core Black, Cloud White and Gum, and this black colorway released alongside a green pair which was an undefeated and BAPE exclusive. So this pair is part of the 26 pair Adidas A to ZX collection, and it represents the letter B for BAPE. So jumping straight into the shoe, as we start things off with the toe box, this is covered in this camel printed nylon, and you can see the BAPE head logo here as well. There's this hit of 3M surrounding the front toe cap, and then surrounding the entire outer edge of the toe box, this is covered in this black colored suede. This suede runs up the center of the shoe where the eyelets are, and there's this black colored fork shaped TPU, which holds the middle three eyelets. Underneath this, we have BAPE branding done in this gold foil, and then on the right foot done in a similar fashion, we have the undefeated branding. Beneath this, we have the Adidas Three Stripes, which is done in this white colored leather, and then underneath this, we have more of that camel print nylon. Stitched on top on the lateral side, there's a small tag that has both BAPE and undefeated branding. Hugging the back heel, we have this TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. Underneath this, this is covered in more of that black colored suede. And then surrounding the top of the back heel, we have another hit of black colored reflective 3M. We have the undefeated logo, which is embroidered on the right foot and the BAPE logo embroidered on the left. Turning our attention to the laces, we have this translucent lace lock, which has Adidas torsion branding on it. The laces themselves are a flat style lace done in black and 3M. And we have undefeated and BAPE branding on the lace tips. In addition to the black laces, they also give you a secondary pair of gray laces as well, but I think I like the look of the black laces. It gives it much more of a sleek look. So that's probably the one that I'm gonna leave on the shoe. Underneath this, we have a black nylon tongue. And at the top, there's this black and white tag, which has the undefeated logo on the right foot and the BAPE logo on the left foot. A very unique feature that this shoe incorporates is there's actually a hidden stash pocket within the tongue. So you can unzip the tongue and inside there's this camel printed liner. And this was a nice change up that you don't normally see on the ZX8000. Moving on to the insoles, so these come with this camel printed insole, and we have Adidas, Undefeated, and Bape Branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the ZX or ZX8000 sits atop this white colored foam midsole. Underneath the lateral side of the forefoot, there's this EVA plug, and we see something similar on the medial side of the back heel. This is put in place to give you added structure and stability. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, the outsole is constructed out of this gum rubber. We have a very intricate looking traction pattern that runs from heel to toe. And in the middle, we have the Adidas Torsion System, which is this yellow colored TPU bar. And this is to help give you midfoot support. The outsole is finished off with this blue hit on the bottom heel, and we have undefeated and BAPE co-branding on either shoe. So that covers the look and the construction of this pair. For those wondering how these fit, overall I'd say that they do run true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. Adidas Canada sent me these guys in a size 10, and to me, they fit me perfectly. I know in the past, some of the other A to ZX pairs have run a little bit bigger than normal, but these guys gave me a perfect fit. I had no issues with sticking true to size. Next up, in terms of the comfort, so this model isn't the most comfortable sneaker out there. It's gonna be totally fine for just casual use, but there's not too much from a softness and step in comfort perspective. But like I mentioned earlier with these EVA plugs, they do feel very stable on foot. And what you sacrifice from a softness standpoint, you probably gain in terms of being able to wear these for many hours in the day without any pain or fatigue in the arches of your feet, which is something I usually encounter with shoes that are overly soft. Last but not least, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair, Overall, I'd say that it was solid, but it wasn't anything amazing. The materials, they were pretty decent, but because the majority of the shoe is constructed out of nylon, it's kind of impossible to really have that premium feel to it. But on the other hand, the suede felt pretty good, and I didn't really have any issues in terms of how they put the shoe together. There were no glue stains, no visible loose stitching or anything like that. So all in all, a pretty solid job from Adidas. With all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
hype aside, I honestly think that this collaboration is so far my favorite of the A to ZX collection. I think the color tones on the shoe just makes it really, really wearable, but by incorporating the camo print, there's still a little bit of flair, and it doesn't hurt that it's co-signed by Babe and Undefeated. Between this one and the green pair though, I think I actually prefer the look of the green pair. So I actually bought one over on Undefeated's website. It's just still stuck in the mail, so I'm looking forward to getting that in hand. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Bape, Undefeated, and Adidas ZX or ZX 8000. How do you guys feel about the look of this shoe? And between this one and the green pair, which of the two do you guys prefer? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. A huge thank you goes out to Adidas Canada, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.